Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. Hi guys, I'm here uh, with another great episode with Michiana Business. Uh, we are here with Chris. Um, again, uh, our business is sponsored by uh, Industrial Office Cleaning. And uh, don't forget if you need you um, disinfected or clean your area, don't forget to call them 574-310-7782. So Chris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and why you do what you do? Hi, Alonzo. Um, yeah, I'm Chris Alambo. I'm a uh, account executive at Federated Media. Um, why I do what I do. I, uh, I like to move people. Um, we like to say at a radio that we move people. Um, and that's really what drew me to the job. Um, I used to work in a fitness industry. I was a trainer and I ran health clubs. Um, so I liked the helping people. And when I interviewed at Federated Media, I probably didn't know as much about marketing as I should have known. Um, Mm -hmm. But, but I learned pretty quick and what drew me to it was the fact that, that they move people. So um, I've gotten uh, pretty good at it, I like to think. Um, we, we get good results and uh, our radio station has grown quite a bit. Um, I, I sell directly for 95.3 MNC, um, but we also do a wide variety of uh, like promotions, contesting, digital, um, radio advertising and email campaigns. So it's, uh, it's enough to keep me busy. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Let's don't go directly in how all this work, right? But we want to know about you as well. Like, uh, what do you like to do? What what is what is there uh, the Chris besides work like to do? Yeah. So um, I'm a family man. I'm married. I have uh, two kids. Um, they're uh, they're growing up quick. My son's about to graduate high school, so wow. I'm keeping up with him. Yeah, and uh, we're doing the college prep thing now. My daughter is uh, getting out of eighth grade um, and getting into high school soon. So we're just wrapping up the year there. We really have been a a kind of athletics oriented family, um, but this year has been a lot different. We're not able to do that. So usually I'm driving all day for work, you know, different uh, local businesses in Elkhart and South Bend and everywhere in between. And uh, then uh, I get out of work and I drive from one practice to the other practice and watch a game, you know, and it's back and forth, but um, it, it's kind of amazing how much more free time I have now that uh, we're not driving as much and we're, we're doing this on the uh, <laughs> computer, <laughs> based, you know, so it, it's quite a bit different. Um, so in my free time, I've been helping out at our local uh, Knights of Columbus a little more. We uh, do some fish fry dinners right now. I give a couple hours a week um, um, cooking in the kitchen or running some food out. Um, or uh, just going to a few of those meetings and seeing how we can help our community. Nice. No, so even though if we are in different type of environment, we find the things to do, to find hope people, we find every other things. But if we don't have this um, mindset, I call it mindset, like if we stuck, like I don't want to change, everything is bad up there, I can drive, I can do that. Or if we find everything positive, it's always something really good to finding all these things that you'll be able to do right now because everything changed. It's, it's just amazing how everything works. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I'm not one to just sit on my hands. I know a lot of people don't have a choice and they, they just got to stay home, but I got to I gotta keep moving. I find a way. <laughs> that, that is awesome. And uh, you're helping a lot of people by helping and by marketing. So how does it work, this uh, program that you guys offer in the radio? Well, um, it's, it's really customized. Um, we meet with business owners. We do what we call client needs analysis. So I go through and I find out a little bit about their business. Um, I can do some of my own research uh, and, and find out more. We have insights. We partner with uh, some companies that provide us a lot of uh, right and true successful uh, information. So um, then, we, then we build a campaign to engage that with our listeners. Um, we find a way to uh, give our listeners, our audience, um, a, like a helpful information. So we're in news talk, you know, primarily is what I focus in. So people are kind of 
concerned or seeking what's happening in their community. Um, most people, I think, are vested in their communities, and that's why they want to know what's going on. So when we can uh, connect them to what's happening with the business, local business owners, I, I think it's a good match. So, kind of makes my job yeah. easier, sound easy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay, okay, okay. Can you tell me a little bit for like, um, you know, there's tons of stuff that's marketing up there, like a digital marketing websites. So how is different to advertise with the radio? How do people get more impact in, in them? How do they create more revenue with that and the business? Yeah. So um, it's interesting because most people that I work with, they want to see the results. And radio is not always a tangible result, right? But um, from my own experience, when I was running health clubs, um, we, we had a, a low budget for uh, marketing ourselves. So we would uh, do like guerrilla marketing tactics. And our most successful route was um, word of mouth. You know, when we could do word of mouth, we saw uh, an obvious return on our event, you know, from that. So it was... Uh, um, a leap to get into radio and see how radio uh, translates to that. Really what radio is, is word of mouth. You know, you're, you're speaking your message and you're talking to people that are tuned in on the other side, listening. Um, if you can tell them something about your business, it's uh, you, you got a microphone to do it and educate them a little bit. So. Nice. So it's like uh, me, um, I'm driving, I have the radio station there and I can hear people and I start getting familiar with the name of the company and kind of build that trust, right? Because if nobody knows who you are or don't listen all the time, my name is gonna be like, ah, oh, that is Chris, but I don't trust him. But if I hear your voice, I hear who you are, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's Chris, I gotta go with him. It's no big deal. Yeah. If I don't know anybody, I don't know you, I never heard your name. So it's kind of warming, all the clients that you want, right? Does that, that make sense? Yeah, definitely. And it gives you a chance to control what people say about you. You can say, hi, I'm Mr. Business Owner. Here's what we have. Um, here's what we can offer for you. And I'd like to see you and invite you to do my uh, business or pro to buy my products or services. Hmm. So let me ask you this question. Uh, what is the first question? Like, let's say it's a, I'm, the new, I'm new in this area. I don't know how to... Um, keep in touch with you or how to continue, where they can contact you, where they can go? Uh, you can uh, reach me by email. It's probably the easiest. Um, my email is C Alumbal. It's C-A-L-U-M-B-A-U-G-H at 953mnc.com. Um, or uh, you can visit our website, 953mnc.com and um, click through to the advertise with us. And uh, it'll get to me. Just, just ask for Chris. That's for Chris. There we go, guys. Uh, and it's, he's really kind and, and, and he listens, he's put attention to what you're saying. He wants to serve you. He wants to know where is the, the, the message that you want to um, uh, approach to, the, to, to your client. So I recommend it. A anyway, Chris, so what is the most, the first question when somebody asks you to you, like uh, when they start talking to you, what is the most question that you get from people? Uh, the most question? Um, well, I think first they want to know how we can help. And uh, a lot of business owners are so busy focusing on their business that they don't know how to share um, all the information they have um, or to, to you know, share it enough to the right people that would be more interested in um, doing business with them. So how we can help um, once I learn a little bit more about I usually so they might ask me how I can help. And, and I don't know off the bat, you know, I got to ask them some questions, kind of get an understanding of their business. And then I can uh, learn um, what ways might work best to uh, help them get their message out and get uh, some results from it. Yeah. yeah. Go to the doctor and say, I'm here. And you don't even explain if you have a headache or where is the pain. Yeah. <laughs> you can't help you. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what, what, is, what is the expectation that they, that they um, have to see after they talk to you? What is the second step? Like, uh, the next step is trying, they, they want to know how much it's going to cost. Um, and we're pretty good at finding um, something that'll work within your budget. So, and we kind of temper expectations based off of that too. So um, we can run, you know, $25 a week campaigns to $2,500 a week campaigns. It's um, 
a great, uh, it, it's just a broad variety and it's just uh, tempering expectations and knowing what to expect from a good campaign. So how many people you can reach in each campaign when, when you set up different campaigns? What, what, what does that look like? Oh man, that's a tough question. It's a, uh... I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, I could just give you an example. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, sure. that might be easier. So we do um, a lot of contesting through radio. Um, we we have like a virtual home contest coming up um, where we uh, it, it's really working out well this year because a lot of people can't go out to the locations. So yeah. we have a virtual home where they can um, see everything the stores have to offer online um, and enter. Our listeners can enter for a chance to win a prize, which makes it fun and engaging. Um, the store offers a prize and we put some commercials with the campaign for them and listenership. So I guess the up um, from the businesses uh, side is how many people have entered to win their prize and how many more people like uh, out of those, how many people opted in to hear more from that business. So they can add that to their database for email listings um, or uh, even give them a call or shoot them a text and uh, invite them, you know, send them a special offer or anything like that. So, um, and so to answer your question, the virtual home, it gets thousands of people um, entered to win those prizes. So it, it's got quite a reach. Okay. <clears throat> That's a really good answer. Um, so then after I, let me go jump. I'm going to be all over the place and see, so I can text you, uh, what's it called, you, 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 your knowledge the background that you have in the radio. So okay. uh, what what to expect? I feel, let's say I sign in with you. I already, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be like a magic as soon as I'm in the radio. Everything's going to come to me. What are, the, what are you telling them to expect after they start running the commercial? Well, I'll make sure we have expectations outlined before you sign with me because I don't, <laughs> don't want to backtrack. <laughs> but um, it's dependent on the campaign. It matters... I guess when you're trying to reach somebody, you have to be available when they need you. You know, people don't just go looking for you if, if they don't need you, right? Yep. So yeah. you've got to be in, you've got to reach them when they need you to. So if we call it a reach and frequency. Um, and we found some success when you can get a reach and frequency of about 3.3. That means they've heard you about a little more than three times. They've heard your commercial. Oh. And, and now they know who you are and they're, you're kind of in their mind. Um, people buy differently. So like when you're looking for a car, for example, you've always got to be front and center because there's a lot of competition. So you've got to have them thinking about you when they need you. Okay. But if you're looking for, um, I, I don't, we can go with a gym membership or something. Um, you know that people typically buy in January. So you better be advertising in January. <laughs> right, right. So I got to tell you about another point right there, guys. Like uh, he's talking about like uh, people is going to call you. So before when you go up there and advertise your, uh, with, with the radio or whoever you're advertising, you have to have a plan. You have to have like uh, people behind. So if somebody calls you, you got to be there. You got to answer because it's when they need you. They have that pain, frustration. So don't forget to put the team behind us as well, because if you pay uh, him to advertise your radio and then you don't have the right people behind to get the job done or the service or the um, or the, the things that you're going to sell or whatever you're doing, you have to have that team behind to support that as well. So it's not just marketing, just because if you deliver a crappy product or a crappy service after Chris send you the clients, then you're going to be like, well, that doesn't work. Well, they get in your reviews too. So is that is that is that OK to say or is yeah, like, uh, I guess you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, right? So it just, uh, you want to make sure your message is aligned with what you're going to deliver. So when that when that works out really well, then you have a good uh, chance to convert a sale. That's, that's, that's right. So um, what what can they expect after um, a month or, their, or after a week or after, how was how the, the numbers to start connect them with them when they start advertising with you? Um, it, again, that's kind of a, 
tough question. It's it's different for a lot of business owners, just depending on uh, like if they're pushing for a weekend sale, then you know we set up the message and the uh, frequency to get immediate results. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if it's for if you're like a car dealer where you always have to be in front of somebody, then, mm -hmm. then you just kind of know that going in that you, you just want people to know who you are, know that you're an option and uh, give them a reason to, to buy today, you know, regularly. So. Okay. Well, another question that I was going to ask you, just flow out of my head. Is that crazy? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I missed it. I, I have another question and I just go away from my head. Well, oh, that's right. So, uh, what uh, what type the um, what what time is the good traffic? What time is the slow traffic? How do you, how do each section cost? Like, uh, in the rush traffic is more expensive, or how, how does that work? Yeah, we have uh, we kind of like to build these demos. So we're we're in radio, which uh, when you're marketing, you're you're really building stereotypes. You know, if I did that, like to go outside and just stereotype everybody that might be a bad quality to have but when you're marketing it's it's beneficial because you can um point your dollars to where they'll get the best um, results so we do a lot of business to business on uh, radio with mnc our listeners are uh, usually in that um fit that demo that that gets good results from it so business owners are usually up early um we can imagine they're going to drive to work, be the first one to work and um, advertising early in the morning can be beneficial for them. Um, our peak listeners might uh, be, uh, or we have more people tuned in because not everybody owns a business. So a lot more people listen than just business owners. So we might have more ears on it between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. You know, but if you're trying to target the right person for your business, then um, Using something outside of the prime listening hours might be more beneficial. Hmm. Okay. So, um, what do you recommend to them to uh, to do, like in, uh, when they start advertising with you, you recommend them to spend a lot of money, like uh, oh, just start slowly. Oh, always <laughs> spend as much money as you can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've actually I've actually told people that if if uh, we, we can spend less than that. You know, it's, it's not a, about spending the most money to get the best message um, or the most heard out there. We, what I recommend to start with is share a little bit of insights into your business, kind of describe your, um, your best customer. You always have like a customer and you, you're like, man, if, if every customer was just like them, then this would, this would go perfect. Right. So, um, when you describe to me who your best customer is, then I can help uh, get a picture of who we're trying to reach. Once I know who we're trying to reach, then um, we can align some expectations, know how much uh, a customer might be worth, and then um, set some projections on how many we need to get, uh, new customers we need to reach um, to make your marketing effective. So kind of building the plan together. And then we make sure before we get anything else going, we try to make sure we have a nice message, you know, something that we're going to be able to share with the audience that makes sense. Um, once we have all that outlined, we can push forward and get a good campaign together. Yeah, that was my second question. I mean, my other question has been a lot of questions, but uh, that was like, a, do you need to know who you sell into or you just create an ad? How do you figure it out? How do you create your message to uh, connect with those people? Um, is if you let's say I'm doing a landscaping, there's a lot of places you can do landscaping. But well, how do you connect with the people that you really want to serve? How do you identify that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, like people, it's, it's hard um, because I'll ask the business owners, like, okay, who do you want to reach? And a lot of retail, especially, they're like, well, everybody. And I'm like, I know you want to reach everybody, but. Um, it's hard to narrow down with them. They want everybody to buy their products. Well, yeah, that would be great, you know, in a perfect world if everybody bought your products, but we need to identify who the, is buying your products the most and then build like lookalike audiences um, because it's really hard to change consumer behavior. So if you can 
um, find people that are already interested in what you have to offer, then um, it makes getting the right message to them a lot easier. If you're in the Michigan area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at michianabusinesspodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.